Hello YouTube, this is Dehacker13, and in this video I'll be showing you the top 5 best Cydia applications and tweaks that you can get for your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Now I believe that all 5 of these applications and tweaks are definitely essential for your device after you have already jailbroken. So remember that if you enjoyed the video to please thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and also please subscribe. Also please check out my new website, I'll have a link in the description down below. Now let's get on to the video. So the number 5 tweak is called Gridlock and it is from the Big Boss repo and it is currently 99 cents. And what it does is it allows you to move your applications anywhere you want on your home screen. So to demonstrate this, I'll just drag an icon and I can drag it wherever I wherever I want and it is not locked to the grid. So as you can see, there's a space right there. So you can move your icons anywhere you want without using any invisible applications. So as you can see, I'm just moving the applications anywhere, just like on an Android device. So now let's get on to the next tweak. Okay, so number four is Multi-Icon Mover, and it is from the Big Boss repo, and it is currently a free tweak. Now what it does is it makes it so you can move your applications in groups to different pages. Now what I mean by this is a lot of times when I used to be trying to organize my applications onto different pages, it would take forever to drag icon by icon. But this with, with this tweak, you can drag multiple icons to a different page. So as you can see, I have the UPS, USPS, and FedEx application right here on my second page. So first off, you just have to select them all until they're wiggling, and then you can touch each and every one that you want to drag, and all the ones that you check will have a check mark. So then you can just drag one of them to the third page, and when you press the home button, all of them move over and they will still be shaking. So now they are all on the third page, so you can move multiple applications to different pages. And, but unfortunately this does not work with the folder so you cannot move multiple fo applications into a folder or you can't move multiple folders. So that is unfortunate but you can still move multiple applications from page to page. So number three is an application called iFile and what it is is it's basically the finder from a Mac for your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. And it is currently from the Big Boss repo and it is $4 in the Cydia store. So what you can do with it is you can copy files, change permissions of files, delete files, or even move, move files to different directories using this application and you can do all sorts of different things with it and it is definitely an essential application once you have jailbroken your iDevice. So number two is a tweet called SB Settings. Now this is currently from the Big Boss repo and it is a free tweak. So to activate this, all, all you have to do is slide the status bar and a box comes down and this is basically SB settings. So you can toggle on and off the Bluetooth, the brightness, your data, the processes, and the Wi-Fi. You also have a more button, you can refresh, you can go to the dock, you can respring, and you, and you can turn off your device and you get all of your data right here information. And then you can also go to more and then you can set toggles, you can change SB settings options, you can even hide icon, you can change system options and a lot more and there are also a lot of add-ons for this tweak that like remove BG which I currently have right there and what it does is 
and I can remove all the background applications running in the background all at once and of course there are many other add-ons that you can get from Cydia for SB settings in which you can toggle on and off a lot of things. Alright, so now let's get to the number one Cydia application. Okay, so the number one Cydia application is Winterboard. Winterboard is definitely a must get for any jailbroken device. What it does is it makes it so you can apply any theme to your device. And currently in Cydia, this is free and you do not need to add any sources to get it. So basically, like I just said, what Winterboard does is whenever you download a theme from Cydia, it will show up in Winterboard and Winterboard is used to toggle on and off themes that you have downloaded. So if you download a theme, you'll see it in Winterboard and you just check it and then you press the home button and then it respring's and the theme is applied to your device. So that is one of the main reasons to jailbreak is to change the look of your device and with Winterboard that is what you can do. And also with a lot of tweaks to be required to active to be activated, you need to use Winterboard. So thanks for watching guys. Remember that if you enjoyed the video to please thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and also please subscribe, and click that little box right there to check out my previous video, and like I said at the beginning of the video, also please check out my new website, a link will be in the description down below. Thanks for watching guys, and see you all later.